Hey guys, it's Adrian here. Welcome to another episode of Goodwill Hunting. I am at the Goodwill and we're gonna go see if we can find anything good. If you guys wanna see more thrifting videos, I have a link right up there. Just hit that button, window will pop out and you guys can select the playlist. And I'll also have all the playlists and stuff down below in the description box as well. If you guys wanna check out my other thrifting videos, haul videos, and handbag rehab videos. So let's go inside and see if we can find anything good. Cross your fingers, hopefully we can find something awesome. Is it weird that I really like these tables? Like, they're awesome. All right, you guys, we are at the handbags. This looks like a Brighton bag. Oh, people are going crazy over there. I feel like I should go crazy too. Let's check it out. No. I think we should start over on this side today for the handbag and see if we can find anything good. Maybe if we go backwards, we can find something exciting. Tommy Hilfiger. I've seen this bag numerous times. Orange one. Paul Frank. Do you guys remember Paul Frank? He used to be so popular. He's actually kind of cute though. How much is this bag? $5.99. XO, XO. Oh, there's a tear in this bag. I feel like I've seen this bag before and then now it just turned up here again. It's like the same bag. And it's collab, yeah. I've seen that same exact bag before. I almost bought it and then I saw that there was a tear in it so then I didn't get it. And it's still here. How did that happen? I feel like it's sold a long time ago. I've been here so many times and I haven't seen it. But who knows how that happened. Pell Aroma. Must be real leather. Capezio, I think this might be real leather too. I think Capezio makes real leather bags. Nine West, that plastic bag is still here. Yellow. Oh, another one of these, yes. Paloma Picasso, at least this one's leather. Should I get this one? Maybe, I don't know, let's hold on to it and think. Now this bag has been haunting me. The beautiful Marnie, I really want it, but it's so destroyed I can't get it. I don't have any ways of fixing it. I think this one is Banana Republic. I feel like I've seen it before. No, it's done above it. <laughs> this is a fake coach bag. Yes, it is a fake little coach bag. And it doesn't have a price. Eel skin. The fake Fendi is still here. I feel like I always look at this. Let's see what it is. Made in China. I don't. I can't read the brand at all. Okay, so I don't even think I've been filming this whole entire time as I was going through these bags. But this bag is still here, the Brighton, and this um, bag looks just like a Chloe but it is a New York and Company bag. I'm gonna try to insert the photo if I can find it, but it looks exactly like a Chloe. A model, like a bag that came out like a couple years ago. Michael Kors, Coach, Brighton, Coach. I don't remember what that is, but eh. Look at this little French Bulldog tape dispenser. He's so cute. It's 
$12.99. Checking out the mugs to see if I can find anything exciting. Oh, there's a Starbucks mug. This is cute. Oh, it's kind of like a hot mess inside though. Too bad. I really like the color of this mug. Ooh, yellow. Oh, I don't really like the pink inside. Looks like Pepto Bismol. Hmm. Don't really see anything thus far. This little Santa mug is cute. All right, nothing too exciting with the mugs today. Oh, though I do like that mug back there. That's that white one. Looks like might be pottery bar? I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh no, it's Royal Cannon. Oh, it looks really similar to a pottery barn mug. Do I need this horse? I don't know how much she is. $1.99? Where's the other side? It's kind of fabulous. Magic plates? Pottery Barn or Target? Thompson Pottery. Neither one. Broken shells. Pottery Barn. But they're all broken. That is so sad. Why Pottery Barn? I just found you. Oh, these are cute. Alright, so we're finding some pottery barn. Maybe we can find some somewhere else. Syria. This leaf is cute. Tag. Someone just sent all their broken clamshell plates here from Pottery Barn. Every single one of them is literally like super broken. Ikea. Ikea. I saw these last time. I'm like, I didn't buy them, but I don't know. Maybe now I want them? Perhaps. Put them in this cart with me. This is cute. Theodore Holland. It's cracked right there. This is also a Theodore Holland. Checking the perimeter. This is really pretty. I saw this glass pumpkin. It's kind of cute. Not too sure though. It doesn't have a price or anything. I didn't see anything on the bottom either. So I don't know exactly what it is. But it's still kind of cute. I don't know. Maybe we'll just set it down there for now. So looking at the other glass pieces. This is pretty. I love glass, you guys. Salvage. Ooh, this is crossed now. Oh, it's broken on the edges. I feel like these little plates are going to be haunting me for the rest of my life. These little bullet plates. I mean, this one isn't too horrible. I feel like I just really want it because it's so, 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 so cute. It's just chipped in the tiny little corner right there, which isn't too obvious. But I really like them. This is really pretty. Stoneware made in Portugal. Pretty. I think I kind of like this. I feel like I saw it last time and I almost, I almost bought it then too. <gasps> oh 
Oh, oh, it's broken. That's so sad. I almost like squealed with glee. And again, this plate is still haunting me. Also, this one's broken still too. Oh, this is pretty. More morataki, but it's broken. This is interesting. Also broken. Eh. What's this? Well, that's broken too. Why is everything broken, you guys? This is the plates that I got. This is the broken plate. Ooh, this looks like a flower. Creative tops created in England. Eh. Ooh. Couture collection. Oh, butterflies? Oh, it's broken. I would have gotten this in a heartbeat. Why must you be broken? The Butterfly Meadow Lennox Collection? <gasps> I'm so sad. This would have been the most magical of plates. I do love a good butterfly. No. This is interesting. This looks like blood splatter, so it kind of scares me. Thompson. Vintage looking, but it's chipped on the side. And it's by Dansk. Donsk. Today home. I feel like there's nothing left here. And I keep that butterfly plate is haunting me. So gorgeous. I just want there to be another one so I can buy it. Threshold. I don't think you can eat off of this, can you? Looks like you can't. This looks intense. This looks pinkish. Will it get hot? Microwave dishwasher safe? That doesn't sound too good. This will get hot. I'm like taking too much time looking at the plates, but sorry about that. Get out of town. What is this? Oh, they're fake. I almost had a heart attack. This is pretty. Made in Japan. Nice little cake stand. House of Drill Prill. Three ninety nine. I'm gonna have to check this out. But look at these cute little birds. Like they're kind of scary, but they're kind of cute at the same time. Look at them. Maybe kind of scary. Alright, you guys. I'm super excited to have found this ginormous stone cupcake thing. It's a uh, pampered chef. These things are really expensive, and we have one at home, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna have to get that, pick it up from mom. It's in pretty good condition. So. I'm still looking around here. I'm looking at this apple bowl. It's so cute, but I don't know about that. And I feel like I've seen this plate before. Yes, April Cornell. This is cute too, but no, not really. <gasps> Are these little dragons? This is so cute. Oh no, they're little dragons, they're little birds. <gasps> this is so cute, I don't know what to do. Made in Japan, do they have plates like this? Oh, this always happens to me, I want like plates. But I don't want the tiny saucer, but I think I want this. We'll think about it. Oh, that sound! Guys, look at these, this plate. Like there's like a set of them. I think I just want one. I was just like picking out the cutest plate. And this one looks to be in pretty good condition. I just really love this orange and yellow and blue combination. I'm completely living for it. So I think I have to grab one. And 
yeah, so that will go there. I also found this really cute, like, Star Wars, like, hoodie towel thing. Cute also. Don't know how much it is, but I can't imagine it being too expensive. This is kind of pretty. Handmade in Italy for William Sonoma. <gasps> Ooh, broken though. Okay, this one's broken, so we can't get that one. Let's check out the other plates. William Sonoma. <gasps> and they're blue and white. Well, grayish. Okay, this one looks to be in pretty good condition. This will be the yes pile. I'm just gonna go through them and make sure that one has a little nick right there. Oh, my phone's ringing. Uh, we'll answer that later. Okay, let's see. Maybe the nick isn't so horrible. I think it's supposed to look like that. I think it's part of the rustic charm. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna take these. That chip is pretty cool, Zach would actually really like it, except he'd try and play with it and then break it. But it's really, really cool. I'm trying to look for some pieces that are mercury glass to go with the mercury glass Christmas tree I have. I have a bunch of pieces at home already, but now that I have that, I kind of want to play off of it and look for some more pieces that I can add to the collection. Is this Pottery Barn too, and it's like broken. Yep. This is the big serving platter that goes with all the little plates that were broken. Oh, Mercury, Pottery Barn, $4.99. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. How is this happening to me? I am so lucky today. I think I'm gonna have to get this piece. Originally 29, still has a sticker. Let's cross our fingers and see if we can find any other pieces. I wish you guys could Look around with me. Oh, this is kind of cute too. That's also mercury glass. And it's only 99 cents for this. We can definitely add to the collection as well. Oh, I should do like a Christmas decorating thrift pieces. Ooh. <gasps> what is this? I just got really excited for no apparent reason. I don't even know what this is. They kind of look like jalapenos. They're kind of cute. I don't know, they're kind of sticky though. Not my favorite. What is this? Little precious moments things, little piggies. Um, let's go on the other side and see if we can find anything else that's mercury glass. So I'm literally on the prowl for more William Sonoma stuff. Um, looking for like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Nordstrom Home, $2.99. Little tarnished, but I'm pretty sure that's silver, and these are probably pretty expensive. Nordstrom stuff is pretty pricey. Um, but just looking for anything that may have escaped me my first time running through here. I always think it's a good idea to double check, because sometimes you miss things the first time. This is kind of cute. I wish this wasn't broken. This would have been really adorable. Like this. Ooh, this looks like Pottery Barn. $2.99. And it is Pottery Barn. $24. It's not horrible. I mean, I think I can work with this. If I'm going to use it, I can just stain it and then just hide like the dented sides, but I mean it makes it look more rustic. So, excited for that. Yes, more Pottery Barn, yay. Uh, looking for more Pottery Barn. Stafford Shell. $7.99 silver. Debbie, oh that has like a name. That's weird. This is pretty, but no. 
Oh, I've always wanted these. I wish there was a second one. Then I would totally get it. Okay, I'm gonna look for the other one. Put that back. Crate and barrel. Little jar. I feel like I saw a couple of these little jars. How much is this particular little jar? $1.99. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I saw another one that's right next to it. Almost dropped that. I think I might pick those up. They're pretty cute. I feel like there should be a third one though. Do we see a third one floating around somewhere? No. Maybe. Maybe it's somewhere else. Oh, now they got me searching around the whole store. All right, let's go make a round and come back to this, but we're gonna take these for now because these are really cute and cheap. Further inspection, the tops are a little too scratched for my liking, so I think I'm gonna pass on them. But we're gonna keep looking around for some more stuff. Why am I dying over this like leather metal chair thing? Like it's really cool looking and over this chair as well. This one is, they're both only $7.99. This one actually has a partner, which is right there, but that one's a little bit more of a hot mess. But look at this ginormous coffee table. I don't know, I'm so torn. They also have this, like, this brand new threshold side table, which is $25 from Target. But this one is so cute, I feel like I'd fix it up, but I don't know. Oh, this is only $19.99. That's new from Target also. Oh, a simple human trash can. Oh, garbage and recycle. I wish it wasn't busted. Perfect. I wonder how much they're asking for it. Check out this Ralph Lauren, or Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's a double XL though, but it's brand new with tags on it. Still originally for 119 down to 88. Cool. Guys, look at this um, Lacoste shirt that I found. I don't really like the color of the size 3, but it's still kind of fun. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to grab this because the color is not my favorite. And it's like faded, but still cool to find. I know a lot of you guys like to find Lacoste at the store, so this may not even be real. Who knows? Got everything inside the car. This is going to be the end for today's thrifting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me down below in the comments what your favorite item was that we saw today. And don't forget to subscribe because you'll be updated when I do post a new haul video for everything that I got today. So thank you guys so, so much again for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Love you. Bye. What do we have?